Logical ride of your life. Theo Vaughn, what is it, baby? I'm here, man. I'm freaking here, dude. I'm trying to keep the devil out of my system, bro. But he's here. Those mushrooms are fucking calling you and shit. I'm feeling positive, dude. Ate me a little stem. I'm right. I think I may, oh. might need another, bro, just oh. to get daddy, you know, just to get the fucking devil off my neck, son. With the little ones. With the little... <clears throat> there you go, huh? Something. This little yeah, torch, bro. Little one, Lee. This little baton, what huh? What do you think about this little black one, Lee? Lee's losing. That's the longest one. That's <laughs> yeah. the longest one in the bag. That's no, the that, brother, dog. That, 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 that was the main one under the shit. I'm not even... It's We're breaking that one in half, Pete. <laughs> okay, you no, you give him the worst half. How we feel about that? What do you give a fuck? Oh, look at Cheers, bro. Yeah. Cheers, you little you fucking monster. How you so <laughs> Come on, Lee. Get your brain up, man. Uh, you already... Oh, Jesus. Lee looks fucked up. Look at your, 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 your head is holding blood, bro. Your head's holding extra blood from your body, bro. <laughs> that mushroom tastes terrible with this shit in it. Ugh. I let it sit in my gum for a minute. Jesus Christ. We're going to see some psilocybin shit. The church of what's happening now, you never know what's going to happen. We might eat a mushroom. We might fucking eat acid. We might just do an edible. Uh -huh. We might just be ourselves. You know what I'm saying? We might like, eat ass, bro. That, and we might eat ass. You, you, listen, all avenues are open on a Wednesday night. You should yeah. leave your fucking avenues open. Too. I've been telling motherfuckers for years. Bump they got there. brothers out there out front? One brother. Uh, get First of all, get him, dude. Every black community, you got to go to your local 7-Eleven. That's somebody's dad. That's somebody's uncle. That's somebody. Every Any 7-Eleven, there's a brother out there right now. Go there get was, him and bring him home. There's okay? one brother. Where's where you're from. Oh, yeah. down south. I saw a brother take a bite out of a Vietnamese guy once, dude. <laughs> took a bi huge bite out of his fucking arm, bro. Meat and everything, bro. Ripped oh, it right out. Jesus. The Vietnamese guy was like threatening him with all this karate shit and everything, and his brother just grabbed him and fucking bit right into him, dude. <laughs> bit right into him. If you think him. about it, that's the way to do it. Oh, yeah. That stops karate all the time. Because oh, yeah. I don't care what type of karate you got, they ain't got no defense for the bite. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Nobody got. Well, what if a motherfucker goes to bite you? <laughs> Hold on, I gotta call the main jab and fucking open that one. Hold on, let me put my Komodo on, dude. And they bite your ass, dude. And you uh, remember that every time you try uh, to fucking hug somebody and if you got a little divot in uh, it, you know, you got a speed bump in your fucking hug. Why did I let yeah. Lee talk me into eating mushrooms on a Wednesday night? Like, look at your head, Lee. <laughs> look at Lee, bro. Open your eyes, bro. I can't. Damn, dude. What the Lee, you're already fucked up. You, you gave me 800 before. Like, no, oh, we're in training. I told you. We're going to sing a song. I'm He's the in. I saw uh, Vince Vaughn last night at the uh, comedy store, too. In what the was going on down there? He was just hanging out. He went to him. I guess him and Steve Byrne, his buddies. So he came out to hang out with them. And uh, and then him and Sebastian Maniscalco were talking for a long time. But he was super cool. I went right up to him because I did his Wild West Comedy Fest last year. So I went right up to him. And I was like, Vince. I don't even fucking know him, bro. <laughs> Vince. And he was super cool. He was like, eh, yeah, eh, yeah. And then I was like, I met your sister last year at the Comedy Festival. And we talked for about 10 minutes. He was cool as hell, man. Was, uh... Anyway, so that was just kind of cool at the store. But... How uh, I'm jealous. Where do you get all those hamsters from? That's well, they breed them in our town. I used to work for this group. They used to sell tattooed hamsters and guinea pigs. After uh, they tattoo them. Yeah, they used to brand them with concerts and raves. They would say it's tattooed just to make people not be as sad about it. But it was a brand, bro. <laughs> brand bro. <laughs> of what? With like a uh, heat and ink, bro. For what? Like what did it say? Uh, three eleven, Green Day, anything like of uh, different bands that were coming to town. <laughs> Toadies. <laughs> That's Swear to God, up. bro. Toadies, acid bath. Uh, who else? Uh, raves. Whatever, bro. We used to truck these hams into the city and fucking vend them, bro. <laughs> we did, man. Because there wasn't much. There wasn't much work in our town, dude. You know, you had to get what you could get, and they had a man that bred hamsters, and uh, and then they had to do the, the tattoos, and they fucking met up, and that was a merger. That's big business, you know. And they started uh. A merger. They started doing it. <laughs> but when you leave, when you leave, Coco, when you leave the place, that's when we get you, bro. You get it there. People are leaving. They're on ecstasy pills. They're on Molly. You leave. You get that fucking hands. You get that warm little piece of God in their hands. They buy it every time, yeah. bro. Before Lee comes shooting out the window. Oh, we locked a thick. We locked this oh, uh, we'll this lock big girl in, in our town. We locked this big girl one time. We ate some acid. And we locked this big girl into a room at this party. Mm -hmm. And uh, and we kept going in there with fucking pots of fucking warm water. Fucking <laughs> pouring it on. I feel bad. I feel horrible, dude. I didn't look. We was kids and we were on acid, dude. <laughs> and, uh, 
And then, bro. You can't tell me this story when I'm straight. You got to tell me I'm mushrooms. You locked the girl. I just remember. How old were you? I just remembered. How old it. were you? Probably 16. Oh, that's terrible. I know, but here's the thing. Let's say I was 14. That way it makes it sound not as bad. <laughs> but look, she you ate, ate. No, she ate acid with us, bro. She ate acid with us, dude. And what happened was, and we kept going in the room with like these pots of warm. I don't know why we had the pots of warm water because I think we just were fucked up, dude. And we would really, like pour a little on her, but not like torches. Well, she wasn't in a cage or nothing. She was just, you know, free range in this room, right? But I think she was scared to come out. And then one time we went in, bro. We heard this loud sound, and we went in, and I she why. she had ran against one of the walls so hard, bro, had fucking moved the entire wall in this house, dude. Huge girl, about two two hundred forty pounds. Beautiful girl too. The most beautiful. Biggest girl that I've ever known. Oh my god! Uh, beautiful girl, beautiful hair, beautiful face, large, just large and beautiful. But she fucking got lifted, bro. And uh, yeah, man, fuck. I just came down a little bit off that. Fuck. I just had a little mushroom fucking high, fuck bro. Fuck yeah. So I get. Oh, this, what are you talking about? You're in I Boulder. Get this jo- oh, it looks oh, beautiful, man. I took the lead too deep. Lead. Like Do a, another star to bounce, yeah. Yeah, you gotta fucking no, even bounce out, out your bro. pH. You need some fucking uh, a little bit of horchata, bro. <laughs> we need to fucking hit up the Mexican milkmaid, bro. Get it a spray in your mouth a little, fucking Lee. Get your back. You got a baby bird, you a little. Get your back on the branch. Get your back on the branch. Lee dude. is fucked up. <laughs> For you people who are not watching this, dude. Live. Uh, I remember one time we uh, this uh, um, <laughs> fuck you, man. you got me out to death. Well, you got me to death, <laughs> dude. I remember this. Uh, <laughs> yeah, now I feel bad about what we did to that bigger girl, bro. You can't, you can't, but you know. <laughs> but we didn't do it because she was big. We just did it. She just wanted to. She just got fucked up and she couldn't get out the room. You know, like I got fucked. One of my best friends got fucked up one time and he started talking about Asian people. We never even seen any Asians in our life. And he never started in your life. No, and I guess maybe like in a past life he might have known some Asians. You know, <laughs> and so he starts bringing up their names, bro, and knowing them and knowing shit about them on this mattress in this house. And I'm like, fuck, dude, you're fucked up, bro. I'm leaving, right? So apparently I'm the kind of friend that when your friend is at his worst, you fucking leave, bro. Because I was just talking about Chinese people. Ah, Yeah. We've never met Chinese people. We've never known any. So what is he saying? He's just saying, like, hey, you remember fucking, like, Sin, like, you remember fucking Sun Lamb, bro? He was there for us, you know, and all this shit. I'm like, Sun Lamb, bro. We don't know him, dude. You know, and he was fucking, like, talking about Dorothy. Dorothy, Dorothy, you know, we didn't know any Asians, bro. And I'm like, I got to get away so from where this you came dude. from, where you grew up, there was no Asians in that neighborhood? Not when you were there. Now there's probably four. Yeah. <laughs> yeah right. now there's no, two. we live in a small town, dude. I mean, I What's remember. What's the population? Uh, we probably had about 2,000 growing up. Oh, shit. This one dude I remember was trying to be an Elvis impersonator. He said he was an Elvis impersonator, <laughs> bro. But he was just uh, a fucking alcoholic. You know what I'm saying? Like, we don't need any Elvis, bro. You know? We got 2,000 people. We need fucking gas money. And we, we need, need jobs. Good, yeah, we need ideas, oh. bro. <laughs> Give us some fucking ideas. Those fucking Elvis impersonators are a pain in the ass. Dude. Oh, they're they're the worst, really dude. Are. They really are. Get bro. a fucking life. They, I got to. They know yeah, this dude was like, the worst, bro. He was the worst, and he wasn't like he had no work. They let him dress up like they dress him up like Santa around Christmas. Let him wave at the trains and shit coming into town, mm-hmm. you know, like seasonal greeter, you know. And uh, and he'd always like, like you'd see him and he'd be like, oh, uh-huh. you know, it's like kill the fuck Give out, it a dude. Break. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> what what you just it's just us. You're an alcoholic. Yeah, you, you know, know, fucking Elvis in person. You're not even in uniform. You're in an alley right now. And uh, his kids, he made them be Pentecostal. He had four kids, no mom. He made them be Pentecostals, kept them in the yard. What's yeah. Pentecostal mean? It just means they wear, like, big clothes and believe in, like, God, like, I think a lot. You know? But they wear, like, just huge clothes, so, like, cheap clothes. Like, they look like, like, the kids look like rodeo clowns. You know, like, they just look. You know, like, and it, the girl let me feel her breast actually one time through the bar. They had a barbed wire fence around their house. The girl let me feel some fucking titty. <laughs> uh, fucking, uh... What was her name? What was it? Barbara, Barbara, I think. Or Barbara something. fucking bars. <laughs> yeah, Barbara fucking breast, right? Let me, fucking Let me feel that fucking hard <sighs> nipple through some tits, through some fucking barbara, right? Uh, <laughs> and his son used to eat fucking tuna and ice cream every day and vomit on the bus, dude. So people would fucking beat him up. <laughs> 
<laughs> Wait a second. Would he eat the vomit? Would he eat the tuna first or the ice cream? I first? don't know. He showed up with both of them already in him, and people would fucking beat him, and he'd already be sick. <laughs> he'd already be sick, dude. And the fucking dad, <clears throat> the dad uh, made the kid a wooden shirt one year for fucking Christmas, dude. Made him a fucking shirt out of wood. I'm coming up from church. It's Wednesday. And <laughs> they're in the garage, bro. <laughs> Was I it, swear was to it, God, dude. Was it like cool or was it just like a big box? That he just... no, it was horrible. I mean, at the time it was cool. You know, at the time it was, I mean, it was kind of beautiful. The kid like cried and shit when he, when he put him in it. <laughs> he fucking... I could have been at home right now watching Empire jumping up and down with black people. Yeah. Fucking donuts and shit. And you're over here telling me this crazy shit. Who else eats a mushroom on a Wednesday? I'm sitting here going, Just what, us, dude. what is wrong with me? I, I should know better, but I don't give a fuck anymore. Like uh -uh. It's at, to the point in my life where, you know what? I look at my drawer, and I got quaaludes in there. I got fucking <laughs> grenades. I, I you got, got fucking baby pacifiers. I'm done. I got to do all this shit that's in there. Baby pacifiers. <laughs> but those are for you. Um, <laughs> you know, you look at all this mushrooms, and you go on the road, and you're like, what the fuck? People are actually doing this shit every night, and I'm sitting, you know. Yeah, but my friends today, they were excited. Like, you're going on fucking, you're going with Mad Flavor, dude. We're going to tune in, you know? I mean, so I think that that, you know, we're getting to live some of the dream that other people don't get to live, you know? When you're sitting at home, and, you know, you probably sit next to your wife or your husband, um, or, you know, somebody you might not even fucking, maybe you do love them still, but who knows, you know? You need a little fucking speed bump, you know? <laughs> But yeah, that dude made his son a wooden shirt, and then some kids spray painted swastikas on it, man. No. Motherfucker, <laughs> that's fucking. <laughs> you can't wash a shirt. Uh, uh, yeah, they spray painted swastikas on the wood. But no, we never, we didn't have any Jews either. We didn't have anybody. You know, people just seen like a swastika on like a pamphlet or something. You know, but we didn't have any Jews. It was just you know, just local art, and somebody fucking spray painted. The dude's now, what shirt. was the population? How many black people out of two thousand? Oh, you probably had, I would guess, about eleven hundred brothers. And they were gaining ground quick, dude. You could hear them <laughs> fucking at night. <laughs> you know, almost, bro. If you put your ear up to the woods, that's what they would say. No, uh, no. But and it was like... Any Latinos in that? No. Market at that time creeping in? How we have one have you, kid. How long have you been gone for now? One kid. I've been gone for... From that town, I've been gone for... I left there when I was probably maybe 13. I've been gone. Yeah, I'm 36 now. Whatever that is. 23. <laughs> 23 years. Thanks, Lee. That's a real Jew. Even with mushrooms, fucking... <laughs> so I don't even need a calculator. He could be passed out and he'll just pop his head 23. <laughs> and he'll go right back to sleep with a little sleep apnea. He's still giving estimates. <laughs> <laughs> uh, they had one Mexican kid, this kid, uh, Nicholas, man, the raper. He fucking is supposed to write rapper on his shirt. I don't know if I told you oh, that. oh, yeah. Tell you about that? Yeah, yeah, raper, raper. Yeah, they fucking wrote raper and they expelled him. That was the first Mexican we ever had. What? Are, is it, was your dad Spanish? Oh, uh, man, my dad was Nicaraguan. So I'm Polish Nicaraguan. I'm one of the few, you know? There's probably 11 of us out there. Oh, when it's 7 a.m., you're tugging on a fucking hot dick that's limp. That's oh, shit. Worst. You're in the shower now. What the fuck did I call him? I called him something. I don't know. My brain is fucking traveling right now, bro. Yeah. I feel like a spaceship just fucking took off out of my head. A little How about bit. you, Lee? How you feeling? That was a good explanation of what's going on. <laughs> was it? Hey, I'll go with that. You know, your buddy calls you. Did you hook yeah, up with that girl? Know, what yeah, happened to that you? That fucking monster. <laughs> yeah, I know. It's always some fucking monster, dude. Bro, it's... I remember this one girl. I brought... Uh, we had this thing for a while. If you would visqueen a chick, right? And that's if you would bring a chick home and she would fall asleep or at her place or at your place. And you'd put like a piece of visqueen over her body, right? What the hell like is visqueen? she was asleep. It's like, uh, you know what it is, dude. It's like that, that, that material. Yeah, it's they like use it for the rain use. and shit. Yeah, like for rainers. Keep rain off of rain. stuff, right? What the fuck? People because, you hang out with. Yeah, because I hear like if you really want to kind of spook a girl... Then uh, that's like if I hear from a woman I heard who woke up onto some Bisqueen once. She said it was the scariest experience <laughs> of her life, bro. So then we were like, oh, we got to do this to some chicks, right? So we had this thing. We would fucking put Bisqueen over. <laughs> Is it like the blue thing that they put down? Well, I mean, it always has holes at the end yeah, yeah. because they always need to rope it together. <laughs> it's clear. No, it's clear. It's the clear stuff.
Oh, the clear stuff. The clear, okay, yeah, okay, yeah. Okay, okay, okay. It's that I'm getting clear. A confi- it's a little thicker. Yeah, it's a little it's thicker, a little, bro. Yeah. Oh, yeah, this queen. Okay. So you wake up oh, under that. You know what I used to use that for? Roofing. Yeah, yeah, it's for that. It's, it's for roofing. painting. It's, oh, what the fuck do I know? I don't know. I mean, this but shit. there's about 30 chicks out there that have woke up under some fucking vis queen. <laughs> you know who you are. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Is this a board of vis queen on them? <laughs> no boards. No boards. That's fucking gangster talk. Just a vis queen. Just a vis queen. And they got to I'm sure they wake up and they think they've been murdered, you know? <laughs> they probably think they're going to see a detective when they pull that shit off, bro. Oh, my God. That's gangster, son. If you could do that, that's gangster. Uh, yeah, we did that, dude. Would you watch them wake up or would you just... <laughs> Fuck, no, we wouldn't watch them wake up. Fucking Dexter. Damn, dog, we left, dude. We had to go to, no, we had to go to the airport. I'm sorry, Leon. I'm not trying to be rude. Uh... <laughs> I'm just fucked up. I'm just fucked up. Now listen, I know Leo a long time. Leo always asks you the million dollar question. Oh Oh, yeah, yeah. Lee's known for the million dollar question. Typical Hebrew, right? (laughs) You with that fucking... Typical Hebrew, Hebrew. I love it. Damn, and this is a fucking podcast. <laughs> That's what I'm talking about. Dude. Motherfuckers <laughs> laughing, giggling for real. You fucking monsters. Don't get me wrong. Some of this mushroom powder is helping this fucking laughter. Uh, we'll listen to this tomorrow and go, what the fuck are we talking about? <laughs> yeah, what what the fuck is wrong with us? You fucking hamster killers. Why do you got to loosen up from time to time, people? Every yeah. once in a while, you got to take the stick out of your ass and mm-hmm. giggle. And wake up the next morning and go, yeah. wow. Take that. out a Mexican girl. Fuck a girl you don't even know what she's saying, bro. You know? I mean... <laughs> But make sure the expression on her face is positive. You know what I'm saying? Because otherwise that shit might be illegal. But that used to be something I would do when I got into town, man. I would have somebody set me up with a girl who I didn't know what she was saying at all. And I would go out and I would just try to use like my, you know, just like uh, regular, you know, like just, it's almost like playing Clue. It's like playing, cl- it's like playing charades, but you fuck at the end. You know, that's what it's like, dude. Take somebody out you don't know. Learn something Look at different. Lee. He's looking like, like what a, meet a girl. What? Take a girl out from Nairobi or from fucking uh, China. Uh, you know, somewhere. What do you? <laughs> yeah, dude. That used to be the funnest, man. Was making people laugh at the lunch table, man. That was the funnest thing. <clears throat> Until they had milk spray out of their nose. That's when I would leave. And it'll always be the bell would ring. Everybody would be back in class. And we one motherfucker would just keep listening for some reason. <laughs> And I would just hold him by his fucking arms across the table and keep telling him shit until they fucking <laughs> sprayed out of his nose. And then I would leave, dude. <clears throat> you know, they had a, the first wigger I ever met was from our town, bro. <laughs> I think the first wig ever, man, this kid named Brian St. Pierre, bro. And they put him in He was class. a white dude that was trying to be black? Yeah, he was a white dude. They Where put did him, he move from? I don't fuck. Nowhere, bro. He fucking just, you know, he was raised like... Kind of like, you know, he was like Mowgli, you know? Like, he was just fucking spent a little bit of time on the other side of town, you know? And the brothers really got a hold of him. And, uh, and he was cool, though. He was a cool dude, man. Mowgli. Right? He was, bro. He was like a Mowgli, you know? My whole body just shook. I thought it was an earthquake for a minute. <laughs> he was like a damn oh my God. God. That's an inner it. yoga, bro. That's an inner yoga. But look, man, they put him in the fucking... Mentally handicapped class, bro, because they'd never seen it before. They'd never seen it before. They put him in class with kids with Down syndrome, with kids with in wheelchairs. Uh, they put him. What? Just a dude who had like a. <laughs> and I, couldn't he just be like, hey, guys, I'm just, this is just the way I, I want to talk? I don't even know what the fuck you're saying, Lee, right now. You sound like him right now. They probably put you in that class right now. <laughs> oh, Lee would be in, dude. <laughs> you don't even know what you're saying. The the crazy crazy no, no, you're like that fucking. <laughs> You like, no, they put the wigger in, in, the, in the special class. That's who you sounded. That's what that dude sounded like. I wanted a dollar today. Like, nah, 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 nah. You sound like cousin it and shit. I'm like, what the fuck are you saying? I'm over here, you know. Before we started, Lee kept thinking he was hearing a buzz in the oh, mic. Oh, my God, people. We started late. Because <laughs> Lee was looking around the room like, And what now the he's fuck? making a buzz in the mic. Listen to him. He's the walking buzz over here. <laughs> Oh, yeah, uh, it's oh. sad, man. Dude, uh, <laughs> rest in peace. Yeah, yeah rest in peace for oh sure, God. man. I, uh, first, <laughs> first concert, dude, first concert I ever went to, 
uh, this pedophile took us right. <laughs> I'm not even joking, dude. Rest in peace. He's dead. This dude, Richard Langenstein, bro. Oh. His family owned a fucking deli, dude, over in New Orleans. Famous How did meats. he bring you to a concert? I'll tell you. Yeah, bro. <laughs> I will tell you. Me and my little girlfriend at the time, Jessica, we met him at church, right? Because he was, uh, I guess he was uh, daylighting as a decent person, right? <laughs> <laughs> so we met him at church, okay? So I was like, oh. hey, you know, that's... Uh, and they called him Big Richard, bro, because he was big and he had all the fucking, you know, his skin was scabbing up. He had different colors on his arms. And we're like, let's, <laughs> it was, you know, the fucking Lord's leopard print was fucking coming out of him, right? Oh, my God. So we went over to his house. We're like, let's go to his house and uh, take him some cookies on Sunday and watch the Saints game with him. Right? Not for nothing. We shouldn't have ate that second stem. <laughs> no, nah, I'm fucked oh, yeah. up to the I'm gills, crying. Bro. Oh my god, I'm crying and I have no words. I'm sorry. Keep going. Okay, <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> no, look, I'm, gonna just, I'm I amazed. Let, you. I just want to let you know I'm fucked up to the gills. Okay, right? I'm amazed. And there's a lot of nights. There's a lot of nights I can't even fuck. I walk out of here. He's all fucked up, and I don't get it. <laughs> Tonight is my God's punishment. I'm fucked up. I should have not ate that second no, step. It's okay. Bro, that shit was grown in fucking cow shit. <laughs> I can still taste it in my mouth. I need to go home and Listerine yeah, two times. So we went over to the dude's house, right? We took some cookies over there, watched a Saints game. Then he started substitute teaching at the school I was going to, you know? <laughs> Big Richard. <laughs> Big Richard. And oh, the, the kids listen. Tell your parents, I'm going over my buddy. To uh, what? To come with this old man and watch? <laughs> well, I told the guy, like, my parents was, I mean, out of the picture, I told the girl's parents, like, oh, did we, she was there, <laughs> the mother was there, we met him at church, I'm like, yeah, that's sweetie, y'all, go over there and watch. He started substitute at the school. Yes, yeah, so he started substitute at the school. Day, so I didn't realize it at the time, like, oh. now I realize it's ironic the dude starts fucking subbing, because I'll be honest, I was a handsome kid. You know, the uh, dude starts subbing. I have fucking long hair, beautiful hair, fucking strong in the fucking, you know, fucking chest and shoulders like a fucking like the strongest French bulldog you ever seen, right? So, uh, we go over to his house. Then the next time I see him at substitute at the school, then he's like, "Yeah, come back over." I'm like, "My girl can't come." He's like, "Oh, I'll just come over, watch a Saints game, right?" I come over. He breaks out a little bit of herb, right? Gets me high, right? So then the next couple of times, I start bringing my friends over there, dude. Then he starts fucking, like, getting us all stoned, and everybody was smoking out of apples, and we're doing all kinds of fancy stunts, you know, just fucking herb stunts. You know, my buddy Scott, my buddy Glenn, we're over there herbing up with uh, Big Richard, you know. And we kind of, you smoke a little extra with him because you think he might die, you know. He's <laughs> older. He's in his 80s, you know. He's in his 80s? <laughs> what time? And he's still perverting? Yeah, bro. He's, how, and look, can be, how can you be over 80 and still be perverting? People? You got to respect the this game, This is too. way before my <laughs> yeah. This guy got dick. <laughs> he, he just saw an ice cream truck. He got hard. You know what I'm saying? I think he just... Yeah, he just wanted a kid to look at his How dick. How the fuck are you age. 80 and still perverting? So he was out there PVing, bro. You know what I'm saying, bro? <laughs> so one time, dude, uh, and I'll tell you how we found out that he was a pervert, right? We didn't, it didn't oh, catch, tell me. <laughs> it didn't catch on with us, right? So we fucking dumb, dude. I'm so gullible, bro. I could have been molested a million times. Like, I'm going to tell this. Molesters, <laughs> if you're out there, bro, uh, do you have so many fans? I'm sure you got about 30 fucking child molester fans. Statistically, bro. <laughs> statistically, statistically, dude. <laughs> Cue me in here. Statistically, bro. You probably got 30 fans of the child molesters. You missed your chance. I'm going to say that. You missed your fucking chance with this kid dynamite, dude. Because I was gullible, bro. And I was a good kid. And I was strong, bro. Handsome, long hair. <laughs> but uh, anyway, uh, well, fuck. <laughs> Joey's gone, dude. He left. <laughs> Joey fucking left, bro. <laughs> you want to finish telling you, Lee? What? What's up? <laughs> oh, you don't even know. You want to finish telling you the story or not? Yeah, go for it, buddy. Hell Give me a update me so you even know what the story was about. Do you know? I knew a second ago, but now. <laughs> Keep, just keep going went from where you told it because then the okay. people. All right, know. so the child molested, bro. We didn't know. We didn't know. We just thought he was an eighty-year-old man. So he had like a full career. <laughs> I guess, dude. Like in our town, you could be eighty and still substitute teach. Mm -hmm. I guess, right? So that's that like. I'm sorry, I have a <laughs> sorry. 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 Oh, we thought you just left. Those mushrooms. <laughs> 
My pee's coming out fucking green. Oh, my fucking dick feels all lit up. Oh. <laughs> How's your dick got to do with what? <laughs> You know, Lee, we're going to have to do heroin on this show. No, no, no. That's yeah, right. Not, not tonight, though, man. Not tonight. No, no, okay, tonight. good. Well, I have to get a good guest. Because I'm gullible. <laughs> we're going to have to get a guest that's down. Man. Okay, yeah, yeah. That'll be I'm the out. end, Lee. Like, that'll, that'll be the end. Like Unless y'all have never done it, I might do it with y'all. First time with heroin? I did it when I was locked up. Oh, you've done it. Oh, my God. Yeah, but never with a needle. Like, I'm a pussy. I would never do it with a I'm needle. not. Um... <laughs> But here, I just want to at least let everybody know Martin, that the pedophile it? died. I don't want people thinking that oh, I yeah. did, that he I was did. eighty. I couldn't even see him <laughs> okay. be ninety and still pedophile. <laughs> Jesus Christ, a ninety-year-old pedophile. But Somebody he is, has not been doing their fucking <laughs> job. <laughs> he took us to a Marilyn Manson concert. My first concert I've ever How been old to. Was dude. He, at the time? he was probably about eighty-two, right? We were fourteen, bro. <laughs> he takes us to Manson That's or fifteen. Just wrong. But we, I remember being in a bathroom, me and my buddy Scott, and uh, somebody's like, how old is those kids? And somebody else is like, oh, they're fucking like 13. And I remember the, some, the guy going, oh, somebody's going to fuck them. That's what the dude said, bro. <laughs> in the bathroom, an adult. And we're just like, what? Dude, and then we were back in the, in the audience. Just to say that. Yeah. Not even go home and go. <laughs> What happened to those two kids? Yeah, I hope they didn't get fucked. You know? so like, fuck is... like you're laying there in bed that night. You go, I'm going to say my prayers. How can you say your prayers? <laughs> Don't you say, what happened to those two kids? They might be getting fucked right now. Nobody intervened. <laughs> no, oh. What fucking savage would say that to some kids? What a heartless fucking Muppet monster What is about out their there? parents? Like, <clears throat> what? Was it just like free like, uh, babysitting? No, oh, I don't know. Wait, are you fucking crazy? <laughs> like, 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 how, like how, where were the parents? The pa his parents were at home watching daytime television. Yeah. <laughs> He's 14. He told me he was going to the library to do a fucking book report. And the girl told her parents the same thing. But they already had it worked out with this 82-year-old pedophile <laughs> that we'll go to the Madison, Maryland Manson concert. And after the concert, we'll see what happens. You know what, yeah. what did he dress like? Did, did he dress like an old man or did he dress like a Maryland <laughs> no, Manson No, he dressed man? like fucking Tom Jones. <laughs> <laughs> what does he look like he's dressed like in your vision of him? Like, it was either like an old man like, Listen, with like khakis and a brown belt. And like well, a what difference would it make? What difference would it make? He said he fucking do. He can't disguise Who are you? You're the fucking Tom um, Ford of pedophiles? <laughs> you give a fuck? He's a profile of pedophiles. <laughs> you care what pedophiles wear? Oh, Who the fuck? are 82, yeah. 82. And what they're going to Marilyn Manson <laughs> concerts. Like, I didn't know if he wore, like, the jeans and the shirt, like, the Marilyn Manson shirt, and like, to rock, tried to rock out in 82. What, dude? What are you fucking saying? Uh, I know, I'm not blaming it on you, bro. I am fucking no, no, lit, bro. We saw that. Fucking Asian Americans. <laughs> Right there, fucking oh. Coco. Joey's out here fucking yeah. using facial moisturizer. Fuck no. <laughs> I'll be honest, bro. I use fucking facial moisturizer, bro. I'm, I'll admit some shit, dude. I'll get some shit off my chest. I use facial moisturizer, bro. Uh, what else, dude? Uh, I fucking wet the bed till I was 28. <laughs> I okay? still wet the bed. I'm yeah, you got never mind. <laughs> Not not every week. Yeah, not every week. Like a fucking like muppet. Fucking week. Like, I did, I did it. like a fucking B Sean. Once a year, yeah, you're yeah. at the pita bed. You go fucking let it go. Let the yeah, hose one, go. Yeah, once a year I say this ain't for you, toilet. No fucking keep it for myself, son. I did it like, <sighs> into like middle school. You did? Yeah, it was tough. <laughs> it was, no, no, it sucked because like you, you can't yeah. control it. That is true. You can't control it. And other kids like you can't go sleep at other kids' houses. Uh, I'm so, not gonna sit there like a fucking moat. You come, gotta come to summer camp. I can't. Yeah, you can't. You gotta bring special sheets. Yeah, you. Yeah, you show. Sure. I used to have to bring special sheets when I went to uh, Sacred Heart. Damn. I used to have those special, the one that they put under the sheets, like yeah. a fucking rubble, like a baby. And it sounded when you got on the bed, it sounded like fucking. Yeah, like young grandma's friend. It's, it's <laughs> shit. It sounds like it's like break. Dude, they used to have a buzzer. Did they ever give you that? The buzzer, if it got wet, it would go off and wake you up. No. They had these buzzer underwear in the, in the early '90s or late '80s, and I remember they gave them to me. And if it buzzed, if it buzzed and it went off, it will wake you up. And uh, you was go it to the electrocution? Yeah. Oh, it was a bad oh, idea for sure. I'm sure some fucking. I'm sure some I fucking retard died. I thought what a bad idea was that second stem we ate. 
That was dude. A bad yeah, idea. I got to fucking be on stage in a little while. Yeah, you might as well call up now. You think? Oh, yeah, you ain't driving. You don't. Oh, okay. I, I, <coughs> but I didn't smoke any weed though. Doesn't matter. That shit tell. That shit lies to you. Mushrooms mm. lie to you. All those simple side mushrooms, acid, they lie to you. Like I just got a good laugh. <laughs> you get in the car, you start that motherfucker. All of a sudden, you get that second rush. Yeah, this is deadly shit. It just comes at you like a wave. <laughs> yeah, you might as well. We got some weed. We got some record players. You know, <laughs> that's it. Listen to music. Fucking get stoned. I didn't bring enough weed. See, Lee never fucking mm -hmm. wants to get high, so I just brought a little canister full. You know what I'm saying? Dude, I'll tell you. Oh, the child molester. Let me just at least. Yeah, he died. He died in prison. Everybody. So I don't want people. So to he did get arrested at the end. Well, yeah, here's how we knew. Finally, one time when he went and got steaks with us, and my buddy was in the kitchen. I was in the kitchen. I know a good one's coming. I was in the kitchen, <laughs> and my buddy was sitting in the in the living room with him. And I said, I yelled back in the living room. I said, hey, uh, Big Richard. <laughs> you know, that's what his name was. I said, do you have any sour cream? And uh, my buddy Scott, who's sitting with him, yells back, no, but you can have some of this sweet cream, oh, <clears throat> right? No. And then I hear Big Richard, who's sitting there sitting next to my buddy, <laughs> say to him, can I have some? That's what he said, and that's when it all changed in our heads. Like, he's not as a friendly older dude buying us steaks and he's smoking a real us out. Alive yeah, predator. He's a fucking madman. It's got that fucking whose goose is loose, and he's looking to fucking touch some young jump. He wants to feel that fucking young fucking pump in his hands again. His you goose know? is loose. <laughs> You know, I see. <laughs> I got electrocuted when I was younger, man. Actually, you know who saved me, bro? I was, a brother saved me, man. And I don't know if you're out there. Would you stop already? You got electrocuted. Yeah, at the you fair. Are. At the fair, they used to let us. They they used to let us come in a day early to the fair and test the rides. We didn't know. <laughs> we didn't know. We didn't know we were getting fixed. Me. 30 cents. Get on the ride. Look at Please on the ones and twos now. <laughs> like a fucking... Oh you look like a fucking m, &M. Mm. I'm not afraid. Damn. <laughs> Machine gun Kelly. <laughs> <laughs> so that's good, man. That shit, that shit made me feel fucking... <laughs> that shit made me feel fucking human, dude. You Poor. know? <sighs> Poorly. He's having a hard fucking time. He's beautiful it. now. Oh. He's beautiful. He's just got the fucking Lord running through his veins. <laughs> I, love I love that, bro. That's Christ. Lee is, that's Christ reaching for him. I don't you know can if see been, that. If you've been with <laughs> and that's the crazy part. Some people would be like, ah, that's fucked up. But to be brave enough to just let yourself go like that and relax like that, that's a beauty that I, <laughs> I fucking don't have. <laughs> that I wish I had, man. You know? He's looking for fucking Easter baskets, bro. You know? That's beautiful, dude. When you fucking just lift out and start looking for Easter baskets, bro. You know? When you feel like the fucking brothers ain't chasing you anymore. Like, I'll, I'll be honest with you, dude. 90% of my day. He's thinking about brothers chasing yeah. you. I feel like they got Christ. fucking brothers only two blocks over. Leave the brothers alone, will you? Say, honestly. Leave the brothers alone. They ain't bothering nobody. They ain't chasing no. nobody. No, I, know, I know they're not. Uh, I'm just saying that's what I just think uh, in my head. Hilarious. You want me to share? No, no. I had the same problem for you. <laughs> okay, well, damn, I dog. And it just, I feel like a fucking Christmas traveler right I'm now. I'm telling bro. you, dog. This is the way to do it on a fucking Thursday night. It really is, Sitting man. Sitting around with your little fucking buddies. All right, Two give stems, me your dates. Two stems, fucking Coco Diaz. We did it. Bam! Um, I'll be in Cleveland next weekend. At Hilarities. Nope. I'm actually at the uh, Hard Rock Casino. Look at you. Right downtown in the middle of everything. Hard baby. Rock Rock Casino. Bitch not the motherfuckers. <laughs> Uh, so I'm looking forward to that. That's uh, Friday through Sunday in Cleveland. The week after that. Um, Wait, give me the paperwork. And then where, where are you at? The week after that. Because it's already the end of May. You know that, Joey? No shit. I've been thinking about the same fucking thing. I'm already thinking about June 1st. Damn. Right? Because I got no business till June 8th. Yeah, I'm at the Hard Rock Roxino in Cleveland. Uh, it's actually in the Burbs, man. Hard Rock Roxino in Cleveland. Northfield, it's called. Um, June 3rd through the 5th, 
And then I'm at Punchline in Atlanta, June 9th through the 12th. You catch me on Doug Benson's podcast. I'll be on his podcast there, too. I think they're taping that there. Then I'm going to the beach with my family. We'll be down there in fucking St. Joe's. Uh, fuck, I don't know if it's Alabama or Florida, dude. It's going to be fucked up. I'll be vlogging a little bit of that. I dropped a vlog on YouTube. You can check it out. It's called This Past Weekend. And I'll be with my family. And then uh, that's it, man. <laughs> Am I fucking just saying crazy <laughs> shit now? I'm so fucked up. In July, I'll be in... Uh... <laughs> You're like, man, next May, I'm going to be at the barbecue. I'll be in pizza. <laughs> At least I I'm just going through my out. calendar, dog. Jesus Christ! Quit, Give dude. me two dates. He whips out the fucking. Mm. He, whips out. <laughs> he whips out the web page. He starts dropping dates in fucking <laughs> in 2018. <laughs> Look at he's, the producer, dude. He's doing a tour of Margaret Cho in 2018. <laughs> I'll be giving blood. Oh. Uh. And this other poor fucking zombo. Go get some air ready, you fuck. You gotta sit there, mmm, mmm, like a Buddhist who's been shot. <laughs> we, hey, but look, in, in, in typical Memorial Day fashion, we ain't leaving this fucking soldier. We ain't leaving, <laughs> no, no, we we ain't fucking leaving this wounded warrior, man. And just thank you guys so much for having wounded me. Wounded warriors, you see those people rip themselves up. I love it. Dog, I hate fucking those people. I hate all those fucking fake foundations. Oh, all those fake foundations, man. Yeah. It is sad when people do that kind of shit. Fuck. Anyway, why, put a, why drag a dog in here? You want to give your money, bro? Give your money to your fucking neighbor. Find somebody who you know in person that fucking needs A black help. dude at 7-Eleven who ain't bothering nobody. There you the go. first one at the door who's polite, all right? There you go. First one at the door is polite. And I will be at that barbecue. I ain't mad at you. No. Brain cycle I do without my hemp force protein. Are you on steroids or no? No, look at me. I'm a fat fuck. What's steroids? If I was on steroids, I'd have muscles. I'd be choking <laughs> him right now. I'd be helping him out uh, right now. Lord's got before. him, bro. The fucking Steroids. Lord's got Lee. Fuck. I didn't know, dog. You know, but he looks strong. Fat fuck, dog. I got no muscle. Oh, it could be fat. It could be this muscle. This is all fucking fat. It could be loose muscle, I got itches dog. over here. I got a rash under my armpit that's killing me and shit. Put a diaper on it, Fuck bro. that shit. Now I'm getting all itchy from the mushrooms and shit. Oh, shit there man. was some fucking syropeptides and shit. That's right. <laughs> this poor <laughs> bastard. He's trying to fucking eat You might as well call 911 right now and put tracker on your ass. Call LeeTracker.com. Because God knows where they're going to take you. I'm going to lose you for sure. I know you got to try that guy. Let's call ambulance, bro. No, let's not call. Let's no, call one of those Mexican ambulances down the corner. They'll take it to a nice Yeah, it'll take you wherever. $150, dude. Jerk you off. 150, and they'll jerk you off. <laughs> <laughs> That's the type of people that my man I know man a girl Theo. for $360, dude, will fucking treat you right for 24 hours. Beautiful woman. 360, Beautiful. Lee. There you go. Look, 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 he's falling asleep. On you. I'm anyway, not fall, I'm not, I'm that's why the problem asleep, with this fucking Mamook is he don't take Shroom Tech Sport and he don't straight take shroom, shroom Tech Immune. He's a fucking mook. Anyway, do me a favor. Go to Onnit.com right now and press the code. Hit it, church. Church. Well, how do you spell it? C-H-U-R-C-H. There you go. That's Boom. Good. And you get 10% off. Your order delivered right to your house, man. Don't play around. Listen, Onnit is the way to go. I wouldn't blow smoke up your ass. It's high, a great. You sure you're fucking high. hot? Look, he's taking his shirt off like this is a muscle contest. No, I'm high. By the way, you're saying who am I on steroids? Look at me, I'm a fat fuck. No, I look at cheeseburger, like went bad and shit. Muscle, this ain't muscle. You just made me <laughs> scratch my arm. I'm no, pulling my shirt up. If I had muscles, I wouldn't have fucking sleeves. Anyway, what? again, tracker.com <laughs> right now. I want to thank Helix Sleep. I want to thank On It. I want to thank my main man Theo Vaughn for coming on and saying fuck these motherfuckers. We're going to eat a shroom, and that's how we do hey, it Hey, man. Here. That's what the people m- died for us That's for. right. That, it's fucking Wednesday night at the church studios. We love you, motherfuckers. Stay black. See you Sunday night for a special late Memorial Day. little addition to the church just to break the monotony up Monday morning. I love that, bro. See you Muppets in the mud. Put the fucking music on, Lee. Come on. Put it on, Wake Lee. Wake up, Lee. Let's do this Church shit. us out, Joe. The quicker you, you so do much, this man. shit, the quicker we fucking get up. Oh, shit. Listen to this shit, Theo Vaughn. I'm getting all scratchy from the fucking mushroom now. Nah, no, bro, that shit never It's like eating three Vikings now. I'm burping fucking oh, dog that's shit. Worse. I burped in the bathroom. I don't know what was worse. My burp or my piss? Uh, the worst is when you're trying to get a, uh, when you're eating a girl out and she starts oh, burping. Oh, Jesus Christ. Stop <laughs> it.
Y'all give it up for Hannah, huh? I'd hit it probably, huh? <laughs> I'd probably hit it, dog, you know? Nah, seemed like trouble. I'd fucking, I'm yours, Hannah. Um, I ate some mushrooms, dude, so. <laughs> fucking, there's your gardener right there, son. Uh, but yeah, I'm not gonna do my <laughs> usual set because I don't fucking know what it is. <laughs> and I'm just gonna sit up here under these lights because they're warm. <laughs> like that's how fucked up I am, man. They are warm. <laughs> so I could be a fucking crescent roll at a Chevron right now, son. You know what I'm saying? Let's get French. Um. <laughs> yeah, man. Uh. What else? Uh. I'm voting for Donald Trump, man. I don't give a fuck. I'm not gonna look at Hillary's fucking face for four years, sorry. She just looks like a liar to me. I just look at her face and she looks like a liar. At least I would like her to say, I'm lying. At least Trump is like, I'm fucking lying. You're like, oh good, all right, cool, man. I'll follow this fucking blatant liar rather than somebody playing lie and go seek, man, you know? And I'm in the 1%, man. I make great money. I just fucking, I already feel bad driving past poor people. I don't wanna feel twice as bad in eight years, you know? Cause it's only gonna get fucking better for me. <laughs> to be honest. And I feel like at least with Trump, we'll fucking, may we go to war, dog. Bring it on, son. Y'all like Game of Thrones, bruh, but you know what I'm saying? You like it in the sheets. What about in the streets, dog? You know what I'm saying? When your neighbor's getting all Lannister, let's see what's really up. See who the fuck you are in your fucking townhouse. <laughs> yeah, I'm voting for Trump, dude. I like video games. I am, man. I'm voting for fucking boredom. Eight years of just living my comfortable fucking life. Owning property and fucking just eating whatever I want. No, man. I'm sick of that, honestly. I'm ready to get fucking gunned up, son. I'm ready for a couple of fucking brothers to move in. You know what I'm saying? Let's turn up. Let's let Nairobi in, dog. Yeah. I'm ready to get hit by an arrow while I'm drinking coffee. That's fucking G shit, dude. We're such pussies over here, man. We fucking tweeting about how we know so much. We're fucking pussies, dog. One tribal warrior shows up, dude. <laughs> You'd be on your knees asking for God's help that you tweeted a half hour ago that you don't even believe in anymore. <laughs> fuck that shit, man. I'm also high as fuck right now, dude. But also believe, I think, what I'm saying. I don't even fucking know, dude. This is a coffee house. Oh, fuck, this must be a comedy show, dude. I forgot. I just always get mad about everybody just making fun of Trump. It's just the easiest. It's like, we, not, not John. I mean, John does great impersonations. He's a fucking superstar. Just every day, it's just so many comedians. Like, Trump, fuck Trump. I know, we get it, dog. You don't like him, dude. Move on to the next thing. You know? Anyway, man, these gays, though, bruh. <laughs> now, that is an issue, son. We need to fucking build a wall around West Hollywood, dog. Because these motherfuckers are getting vibrant. <laughs> Gay dudes, they want you to accept everybody unless you're fucking straight, dude. They look at you like you're just an asshole, man. They do, man. 
Jesus, bro, they are so unaccepting, I feel like. <laughs> Gay dudes are unaccepting as fuck, man. This dude, I did this shitty project the other day with this dude, and he's trying to fuck me on on text message, man. I'm like, dude, this shit is, you paid me 1250 for a date, I ain't fucking at that rate, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> like, I'm doing butt kegels, but that's for a movie, son. You know? So, whatever, man. Uh, what are we talking about? Oh, these gays, dog. <laughs> They're getting wild. They're getting wild, man. This dude came up to me the other day, had all this shit in the Easter baskets, bro. What the fuck, dude? You could be gay, dude, but you ain't Dorothy. You know what I'm saying, bro? Get your life together, Judy Garland. You know what I'm saying? Get a GPS and put yourself in there, okay? Because you are lost, dude. He had all of this stuff in the Easter baskets. His money and his phone and everything in the Easter baskets. Like, come on, bro. You pass gay. You on some space cock, daddy bear. You out on some fucking space cock. You fucking animal, you know? If they got some super gays, man, if you keep driving down Santa Monica, you end up in fucking Candyland down there, bro. Bunch of adventure bears out there blowing each other off, jerking each other out behind a donut shop, drying each other up. You know what I'm saying? Fucking emptying nut sacks out there behind the fucking Chevron. You know what I'm talking about. Fucking laugh or don't laugh. Don't laugh with a fucking hand in your mouth, son. Let your fucking voice out. Ha ha! He was like, <laughs> It's okay to laugh, man. You're good. That's just God shaking you and making a sound with you at the same time. It's beautiful. But yeah, these gays, bro, you hit that Chevron, dude, you start thinking you gay. You could even be with your girl, man. Like, damn. They just have a look in their eyes like they are sucking some really good dick back there, you know? This looks electric. <laughs> the advertising alone in the crackhead's eyes out front is worth a lot of money, man, because he's really just setting it off. Like, <laughs> they sucking dick out here. <laughs> like the Jungle Book is back in his eyes, man. Like that's where they film the Jungle Book, but for sucking dick. <laughs> Whose drink is this, man? Is that water? This isn't water, huh? Mm, that's it isn't, it smells negative. Uh, it does, man. It smells negative at all. So, I'm probably gonna sit back down. What are we talking about? Oh, these fucking gays are out there, bro. You think I forgot? Look at you trying to look happy and enjoyable, you know? Trying to make me forget about these gays. With your heterosexuality. These gays is out there, dude. They out there and they sucking nuts. <laughs> Coming at you like fucking little dick snakes. <laughs> Dicks. They fucking dick warriors, bro. This hair won't grow in very well. They dick warriors, man. They are. Uh, what were we talking about? Let me get back to this shit, dude. Uh, are y'all keeping secrets, dude? You know them? <laughs> okay, you the villain, huh? I get you, Voldemort. I know what's up, you dark artist. <laughs> Trying to be all cavalier. <laughs> so, what else, man? Uh, da, 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 da. Oh, my brother tried to fuck me when we were younger, bro. When we were children. <laughs> he did, son. Thought I forgot about that shit, dude? Nah. 
Unforgettable. <laughs> Fucking remember that shit. My brother tried to fuck me when we was younger. We wasn't gays or nothing, we was children. And uh, we was. He was seven, I was five, and he just got early onset erections, I guess. And I guess he knew he could kinda, he was like a problem solver, and he would just try to hide him in my ass a little, you know? <laughs> he did, bro. But we wasn't gays, we was just children. And, uh, and he grew up, he got three kids now, man. He's a youth pastor, he's a great man, he's extremely successful. But uh, he used to, yeah, he got early onset erections. He got hard in the front real early. And, uh, and he would try to fuck me a little bit for about a year and a half at our house. So. But this how, oh, remember this, this how I would stop him. So for my fourth birthday, I got a bag of Jingle Bells, you know. And uh, I got them engraved with my initials on every one of them. You know, it was a real special thing. And, uh, and I would just shake the bag when I would get happy, you know? And, uh, and at night, though, like I would get under the sheets, you know? And to make sure he wasn't trying to, you know, get my ass a little. Because <laughs> we shared a room, I'm gonna tell you that. I'm gonna tell you a crucial fact, dude. Crucial fucking fact, bro. Investigators, y'all looking at him like you want information? <laughs> we shared a room. I fucking forgot. <laughs> I just remembered I was a Pisces for some reason. Uh, <laughs> I did. I am. I am, dude. Uh, you don't care. You don't care. Uh, so this is how I would keep him off me at night. I would hide under the covers, you know? And just, you know, and I would take the little bag of jingle bells and I would start at the bottom of my feet. And I put one on each side of the fucking, of my bed sheet going up, you know, all the way up, you know, like a little alarm system, you know, all the way up to the top. And then I would just, just sprinkle a couple of JBs up here by my neck. And then if he tried to, if I heard a Christmas sound, that meant he was trying to do sex. And sometimes I would think I would hear one, but it was just a seasonal memory. Yeah, he tried to fuck me for a little while, man, at the house. So, what else, man? We had a bunch of, uh, uh, my friend growing up, he had Down syndrome, right? Uh, but they never got the paperwork done on him, so he just had it, you know, just freelance. Uh, he did, because his mom was a drunk. She never got the papers done on him, you know? And she said he didn't even have it. We're like, he has Down syndrome. She's like, no, he don't. He's Irish. We're like, he ain't fucking Irish. Nobody's that Irish. <laughs> that's like, <laughs> that's like 700% Irish. <laughs> He was, man. He was my buddy. He was a fucking asshole, too, dude. I don't know if you know a lot of DS kids or not, man, but we used to fucking party together, man. He used to drink. He started drinking early, man. And, uh, like, this was after my brother tried to fuck me when my brother got over that. And I started making friends outside of the house. Because um, I went through, like, this whole battered spouse thing by the age of nine. But, uh... But yeah, this kid named Derry, his name was Derry, named after the food group. <laughs> he was named after the food group. <laughs> he was, man, yogurt and all. <laughs> and uh, he had Down syndrome, bro. We still owe $1,100, man, for fucking up this Ramada, bro. We used to party in there in the lobby. Yeah, we used to just get drunk, and it was the only place that really had the lights on at night. So we just get in there and drink in the fucking lobby till they called the police on us. And we broke a bunch of plant pots in there. You know? And Derry died, he actually drowned in Hurricane Katrina. He died, but uh and I thought they wouldn't make us pay after that, you know. <laughs> I mean, come on, dude. But they still hit us up eleven hundred bucks, man. So I'm trying to split it with his <laughs> with his estate right now. It's kind of <laughs> fucked up. But look, dude. 
you got to pay the piper at the end, son, you know? I don't know if you, I don't care if you're coming up light or not. You know, if you're coming up light, you got to pay the piper, man. Oh. Uh, <laughs> what else happened, man? Tell you this shit, dude. Uh, my phone lip and it's off, dog. Uh, they are. I'm a human. I'm a human person. I'm okay. Um, yeah, I'm all right. <sighs> I can tell you what else, dude. Um, so, uh, <laughs> they used to call me the nigga boss when I was younger, bro. And I know if I can, it's kind of a crazy story, but here's what happened. Hear me out. Um, that was a weird place to start the story. Uh, I used to ride my bike through the black neighborhood to get to school. My black friend would get on top. He was like, he would sit on the handlebars. He was like 11 feet tall. And, uh, and then after a while when I would come to the neighborhood, he started calling me the nigga bus. And then everybody would yell, here comes the nigga bus. And everybody would get on. And I would bike everybody to school. <laughs> like as many like darker kids as you could imagine, <laughs> you know? Three was the most I could really get there. And one on somebody's back, so four. But uh, yeah, I had fucking huge quads. Uh, beautiful legs as a child. But, uh, and I'd show up with all the kids that missed the regular bus, you know? Here it comes. Uh, and then I used to go over to my friend's house. He was darker than me. Uh, and I used to bathe with him and his sisters in this big tub, like this big kind of wash thing in their front yard. And this older man would come over and tickle me. He would, dude. <laughs> and he'd say, one of y'all's different. That's what he would say. <laughs> so. Yeah. I don't know I'm sharing that with you guys, man, but I'm fucked up, you know? And, uh, and I don't care, man. They tickled me. And he made me feel different, I guess. You know, he made me feel white. <laughs> and it just felt bad, I guess. You know? Uh, what else, dude? Um, this pedophile took us to the... This, yeah, this pedophile took us to the Marilyn Manson concert once. Did you like me? Okay, fuck. Uh... <laughs> yeah, dude, I'll tell you about that. So I met this man at church. I was with my girlfriend. We met this man, and he was older. He's about 80. And uh, and we didn't know he was a pedophile. We just thought he was old. And, uh, and like, you know, it kind of just, like, licked the corners of his mouth a lot. And he, um, oh, and this is what happened. My girlfriend's mother said, well, why don't y'all go over there on Sunday and watch the football games with him, because he probably loves them. So we went over there, and we watched the football games with him. And then, um, so then I, then he, oh, then he started substitute teaching at the school, right? Uh, in hindsight, I'm like, who the fuck lets an 80-year-old man <laughs> teach somebody something? I mean, he's probably insightful, but you know what I'm saying? This motherfucker can't run a microwave, you know? <laughs> so... And then he's like, oh, we'll come over in the weekend and watch the game again. So I went over to this place and watched the game. And uh, did you just turn a bunch of lamps on in here? Like these little lanterns? Or were they already on? Okay, good. That's <laughs> all right. I swear to God, dude. Just saw them all going at once. I was like, fuck, it's Halloween. It's Halloween. And uh, so then what happened was I started going over there, over there, over there with my buddies on Sunday. Me and my buddies would go over there and smoke some weed with this older gentleman. And, uh, and then he took us to the Marilyn Manson concert one time. He goes, I know Marilyn Manson. We're like, no fucking way, dude. Like, you're about to die. <laughs> and, uh, and he's like, I know Marilyn Manson. And so he took us there. And I remember me and my buddy was probably 13, 14, in the bathroom peeing. And some man goes, look at these kids. And, uh, and then some other man in the bathroom goes, somebody will probably try to fuck them. That's what somebody said. It's pretty dark, I feel like, uh, to say to children. But uh, anyway, let me tell you about how we knew the man was a pedophile. So uh, 
like a year later, we ended up smoking weed, doing like, like uh, he took one of my buddies to Vegas, actually. I fucking do feel a little bit bad for that kid. But he was kind of, <laughs> he was older than us, and he seemed like smart. He, he seemed smarter, but who the fuck knows? Anyway, that's getting a little dark. But what had happened was, uh, so this man, oh, we're eating steaks at his house one time, right? Me and my buddy. And I'm in the kitchen. I was looking for some sour cream, I think it was. And, uh, and I, oh, uh, and I, I yelled. I was like, oh, do you have any sour cream? The man's name was Big Richard, the pedophile. And uh, I said, Big Richard, you got any uh, sour cream? And my buddy goes, and my buddy's sitting in the living room next to them. They eating steaks and um, potatoes with them. And he goes, no, but you can have some of this sweet cream. You know, he's joking, you know, about semen. And, uh, <laughs> and then, then Big Richard, I'm in the kitchen, right? And I hear Big Richard <laughs> lean to him and go, can I have some? To my buddy, right? And that's when it all turned on just like these fucking lamps did ago. <laughs> with y'all trying to trick me with y'all's fucking surprise ass, it's October. Uh, and that's when we knew he was a pedophile, man. But, uh, but anyway, he died in prison. His family owned a deli. Uh, they did. They owned a really nice deli. Delicatessen, they called it, but we knew it was just a deli. What else, man? Uh, but these gays are just relentless, dude. Some of them. They are. And thank you for guys for, for supporting me with that. Uh, I just can't keep some of these sisters off my back. Did you just turn the fucking lights off? Now you did. Fuck you. Wow. It's like I'm fucking going to heaven already? I was like, I'm already going to heaven. <laughs> I would have to apologize for a lot of shit, man. I put Nair in my girlfriend's shampoo one time. I did, fuck her still. Uh, <laughs> after college, dude, she was fucking some guy in the kitchen. And, uh, and it wasn't me, I wasn't the guy. And that's what really was the disconnect between us. <laughs> so, this is beautiful, actually. <laughs> should always do it like this. This is fucking romantic, son. It's like we could joke or fuck a little. You know? Uh, I'm trying to tell y'all a story that's kind of like, uh, good. About fucking or something. About these gays, dude? Oh, I'll tell you what happened then. <sighs> oh, the man with the fucking Easter baskets, right? So we come up to me and he got all of his specialties in the Easter baskets, you know, his phone and credit cards and just pictures of his grandmother. And uh, and the further you go down there, down Santa Monica Boulevard, they got more people get gentler and gentler, you know, until they just creatures with fucking vests on and <laughs> glittery dicks in their eyes. And like, sometimes you'll see the gayest dude ever. He don't even look like a man anymore. He looks like a premature baby. Somebody just stretched real tall, and put a little tank top on him. <laughs> and it looks like he, like he just got the, just, he got on shorts and he got on Daisy Dukes, but more Daisy than Duke. <laughs> and he got bright white legs, like Boo Radley white, just like, <sighs> like tall stacks of fucking Philadelphia cream cheese holding him up. And he don't even look like a man, he just looks like a just, he looked like a, like he don't even have a spine in his body. Like in the morning, he was just down like this in a little pile. And then he just <laughs> caught a whiff of dick in the distance and it's just been holding him up all day long. And I'm like, this dude, too hectic, man. It's too early for this, it was like 8 a.m. Prince died, man. Prince fucking died. They got Prince, dude. I mean, he was a drug addict on a little bicycle. <laughs> and I'm not shocked. I'm not shocked, but bummer. Oh, man. What else, dude? I fucking feel 
like these. I don't know, man. I asked this girl out, but she never texted me back. So what does it mean, though? Whatever. I'm probably going to throw my phone away whenever I get out of here. You know? I'm just into creature comforts anyway. We used to sell tattooed hamsters and guinea pigs outside of raves when I was younger. We did. And I'll admit that. I swear to God we did. And they weren't even tattoos we said they were. They were branded. They were. And I didn't brand them, but I smiled when we got the batch of them. And this is the early 90s when you could still do that, I guess, you know? <laughs> and I just loved 311 so much, and I thought, <laughs> and I thought they did. And I thought they did. <laughs> yeah, and uh, we used to sell them outside of raves, and because uh, people was on ecstasy pills. Did you just hear 311? <laughs> okay, I think I'm. I think I've had enough. <laughs> I think I have, man. I'm Theo Vaughn. Thank you guys so much. I have a special on Netflix. It's called No Offense. I got to go to the comedy store. Well, who knows what's going to happen? Hopefully, some pussy. Keep it going for Theo Vaughn. Uh, the next guy I'm bringing up is so, so funny. He's the host of Idiot Test, and he has a Special coming out on Showtime, June 3rd. You guys better check it out. It's called Neurotic Gangster. Please keep that energy going. Let's keep it up for Ben Gleave. Let's keep it Theo Vaughn, everybody. Yeah. yeah. I just did meth. <laughs> 